My name is Ori Gersh and I was born in 1967 in Tel Aviv. We're filming here in my studio, which is where all my work is being created. I have my dark room, my black and white and color dark room here. All the post-production on the film is being done here. I think my work is very diverse, but there is a strong common denominator. I'm interested in the formal tension that exists between some sort of brutal violence and delicate and poetic beauty that are coexisting in, in life of individuals or even maybe at the core of those events. Evaders is a film that relate to final journey taken by the Jewish German philosopher Walter Benjamin on his attempt to escape from the Nazis. This is a journey that took place from Bagnols in France to Port Bowl in Spain. Benjamin was supposed to continue this journey to the United States. So the two screens of the films are divided to a close-up of a figure that is walking forward toward the camera and um, it's very apparent that this figure is struggling and suffering a great deal while on the other side of the screen there is a figure that is walking away from the camera often very small in the frame uh, surrounded by sublime and very diverse landscape the figure in, in this screen tend to dissolve and disappear constantly, so it's being as if melting down into the landscape. This film is not an attempt to create an historical or sentimental film about a particular event. For me, it's much more about two parallel incidents. This geographical route is what tying them together, but we are making this absurd journey, attempting to cross a border that does not exist any longer since the common market. All the checkpoints been deserted. And Benjamin, on the day that he arrived to the border, the border was closed and he committed suicide since he didn't have the inner strength to continue with this endless struggle. And you would like to stay? Awaken the dead. Awaken the dead. Make hope. Make hope. Food smashed. The monologue at the beginning of Evaders is a quote from Benjamin's last ever text where he described the Paul Clay painting Angelus Novus as the angel of history and used it as a sort of metaphor to the tensions that exist between messianic time and materialistic account of historical progress. This storm is what we call progress. Progress. 